Breaking news straight off the top, William Seidman, a prominent name in the international business world with strong West Michigan ties, has died. He served at the highest levels of government, a dedicated man who left many marks here in West Michigan. We begin our coverage tonight with 24 Hour News 8's Rick Alvin. Rick's live at the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Brian, as you point out, he left his mark all over Michigan. I could have gone live from any number of places. There is a park that bears the family name here in Kent County. We could have gone from the Seedman School of Business also with the family name or anywhere on Grand Valley State University's campus. After all, William Seedman, some 50 plus years ago, was one of the visionaries who said there should be a four year school in West Michigan that will provide for up to 25,000 students. That dream has been realized. Talking today with Dr. Tom Haas from the school who said that their graduation rate and the employment rate of those who graduate is beyond many other schools and certainly beyond the expectations of some, but not the expectations of William Seidman. He was a visionary, people tell us, someone who saw things that could be developed, and he saw to it that they happen. His vision goes long and far beyond Grand Valley State University. He was an advisor to President Ford, to President Reagan, to President George Herbert Walker Bush. There's much more to say about him, but one person who can say it far better is someone who knew him, was the beneficiary of some of that visionary work, and that's the former president of Grand Valley State University, Dr. Don Lovers. Dr. Lovers, thank you for being with us tonight. I understand you're just getting ready to go into a big gathering that will talk about the foundation of the university, and no doubt the center of the conversation tonight will be William Seaton. Yes, it certainly will, and it's, it's fitting that we, uh, we have a Grand Valley celebration tonight uh, to celebrate Bill's life, I'm sure it will be. It wasn't expected to be, but it will be tonight. Can you put in some type of context the impact that Bill Seidman had on Grand Valley State University from its inception through the founding of the business school right up into his visits and contributions in these last few months? Well, every university has an ethos. Every university has a, a style. Bill Seidman was the person who first established Grand Valley's style, established, it's created its ethos. He, he was the spirit of Grand Valley, and that spirit continues today. So much of what Grand Valley is, what it appears to be, and what it really is, uh, goes back to Bill Seidman and his ideas and his creativity and his energy. When you look at his educational background, and I refer to this at Dartmouth, Harvard University, University of Michigan, uh, he also served uh, in the capacity of the Dean of the School of Business, I believe, in Arizona. Uh, he really did value education, didn't he? he? He was very creative in the field of education. He loved it, and I think probably from the time he was a young man, he had an idea of creating a state university in the Grand Rapids area in West Michigan. Uh, I think that was always a dream and he often said to me, my greatest accomplishment was the establishment of Grand Valley. Well, you know, when he says something like that, with all of his accomplishments, he certainly did like and loved education. Dr. Lovers, thank you so much for your time. And tonight at your event, I know that Bill Seidman will be fondly remembered. When he talks about Grand Valley being one of the best accomplishments of his life, there are so many you will hear a lot about. Here is one you may not hear much about, but it certainly bears repeating. During World War II, Bill Seidman received the Bronze Star while serving in the invasion of the Philippines, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. That's quite an accomplishment and truly making him one of the greatest generation. Coming up at